Jones, the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee. So I was struck by your direct comments to the Supreme Court, who are arrayed right there in, in front of you. Am I right in thinking that you view the Roberts Court as a political body and the conservative ma majority as politicians instead of jurists? No, look, I think they made a wrong decision. I think they read the Constitution wrong. I think they made a mistake. And I was being blunt. And the part of it that they said, remember, what they said was, it's up to the states to decide. That's really what, the, 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 what was said. It's no longer a constitutionally guaranteed principle. And they used the phrase that women can vote, they can change if they want to. I found that somewhat insulting, the idea that they don't think they can. Women are speaking out. They spoke out in 2022. They spoke out in 2024, 2020. This is what's going to happen. And I was just making it clear. Women speak up. This is going to change. And if you give me some, if you give me a Congress that's Democrat, we're going to change it back to Roe v. Wade. You're having fun on the campaign trail, aren't you? I like campaigning because it's the only time I get out of the cloister of the White House where I get to look people in the eye, shake their hands, listen to their arguments, listen to the pain, see the pain in their face and what they need to have it relieved. It's all, look, where I come from, it's all about what happens at the kitchen table. They're the things that matter. It matters if you're getting ripped off by a bank at a $35 fee for a late charge when they're only allowed to charge you what it costs them to fix it. So that's why I removed it to $8. It makes a difference. So it's billions of dollars to banks and the, and the major lenders. But guess what? It's 100 bucks or 200 bucks a month or a year for a small family. My dad used to say, it's what you have at the end of the month that gives you a little breathing room. We got to give the American people some breathing room. And there's much more I'm going to do. Mr. President, speaking of the campaign trail, you got to get out to it. So thank you very much for this interview. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate Thanks. it.